Good day on this very wet June 30th. Just picking up some scapes here from our little garlic patch uh, and the alchemy garden. Um, so I'm just walking through the tomato patch over here. Things are coming up. We're starting to get tomatoes coming up, uh, different varietals. I got a tomatillo over here. That's coming up. And uh, yeah, yeah good, looking good. We have the tomatillos here. I put these in a, a week earlier than the one I just showed before. They're coming up. I'm excited to see how those are going to grow. So, all right. And like I said, we've got some quite a bit of rains. So I figured, okay, I'll get the scapes. Been meaning to do it for a little while now. Oh, actually, maybe I'll show over here. So, I'll leave the garden. And uh, just uh, got my. Uh, beans planted in. So I've got two pole bean varieties coming up. Uh, just waiting for them to start poking through, but then they'll be starting to trellising right beside uh, my uh, my cascade hop plant over here. I got a little flower garden over here. You know what? How about we take a little stroll into the community garden section? So um, I've got a members here. So um, various tomato plants in this. Kind of see, see where we go. So they're strewn about in here. So they're in here. Uh, see my lovely lamb's quarter. <laughs> no, I've actually got some uh, squash in this patch. Uh, so there's one. I've got them kind of spread out. They'll start once they really get going. Um, they'll start vining and. I'll, you know, take out the, the lamb scrub. I've got sumac staghorn, sumac that, you know, great plants, but uh, uh, not so much where the gardens are. One of our other garden members, Marco, and he's got, look at the butternut squash. They're getting big here. Uh, his potatoes are coming up really nicely and onions over there, some dill. So uh, remember, I'm going for the stun method championed by Mark Shepard. Uh, sheer total utter neglect. Um, I just want to see uh, kind of a, you know certain plants' uh, tendency to bounce back. So I planted some squash. Um, they're, you know, I'm gonna have to do some weeding. They are, they're there. Um, but I'll have to come back and uh, kind of help them along. There's Joe and Cassandra here. They're, they got a nice plot and uh, pulled up a lot of stones, like, look at this. <laughs> this is great. Come by and I'll pick up these stones. They even picked this guy up out of the... <laughs> so that'll make a nice, maybe a cairn stone bush, may, uh, bush um, maybe a seat somewhere. That's a kind of a cool stone. And it was just sitting right over there where the potatoes are right now. On its side. It's kind of funny, it's like, Joe's like, hey, Taylor, come over and check what I you know, pulled out. And I'm like, what the, all this stuff, so. Look at that, they're nice tomatoes and squash in there as well. Some of that celerac. Some more squash. So I've got the plots in between, you know, with uh, pandemic mode. Got them mulched with uh, uh, donated mulch. Um, so that's been working pretty good. I've got, you know, there's dandelions coming up. Actually, I have this trembling aspen coming up. Uh, it comes up through the roots, unfortunately. So from this tree over here, um, that's one uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're planting a tree. It's like spread from the roots. Uh, here's Melanie's plant. And uh, it's got our corns coming up really nice. There's some squash in there, beans as well. And we got the potato patch here. So this is a little joint project with me and the food bank. They brought a bunch of seedlings. We put those in. Ooh, got some flowering. Good, good. Not too many potato bugs. This is, um, we're going to see how it goes. Because um, obviously, once they know that it's here, they'll, you know, next year might be a different story. But so far, so good this year. Uh, again, food bank. So they got their cabbage. And look at that. More squash. Love squash. They love squash too. Um, look at the, okay. So these are two uh, members of the food bank. And oh my gosh, look at this. Like, like, man, they got the marigolds everywhere. Look at this, I got some celery rack. Their beans are coming along great. 
oh, just beautiful. Like, um, really, uh, gotta commend uh, them on a job well done. Like, really good. Um, so again, here's more some peppers. There's a tomato thing. Uh, so again, food bank uh, quarter here. And in there we know, no more potatoes. Uh, so I've been joking with uh, some members about having a, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're definitely having a harvest party. Um, uh, and uh, we're gonna trade some good recipes uh, for how to make, uh, you know, prepare potatoes. In here, so, um, I do have some uh, broccoli and cabbage. And uh, they're kind of, so I just put them in. Uh, so here we go. There's the row of broccoli. I have to go in. Cabbage is a bit behind. Again, um, they're gonna need some help. Now, the rest of this stretch, I've got, uh, you can see here, we got some squash. And uh, again, the idea is once they start going, then they'll start just, uh, you know, tre like all this lamb's quarter will be a great trellis. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that. So, and they're easy to pull up if need be. Um, so we've got some butternut here. All right. How is it doing? Good, good, good. Uh, I have spaghetti as well in this uh, section. Luckily, they're you know, two different cultivars, so they'll they can intermingle. They won't uh, compete, or <laughs> not so much compete, cross pollinate. So again, I uh, got some sumacs in here. I'll have to pull out. The squashes are starting to. Here, you can really see them here, this row of them. These are the spaghetti squashes. Oop. <laughs> Big close-up of a dandelion there, too. So, ah, uh, there's more. So there's some butternuts uh, here. A varietal of them. And, uh, so these are it's my potato patch over here. And uh, I got some rows that the, they're gonna start coming up soon. Um, they're not up just yet. Um, these some are poking through, um, as you can see here. You can see they're just coming up. So those I planted, but you see, you can see these ones have been there a little longer. They're up nice. And uh, They're obviously getting eaten a bit, but not uh, that the plants are doing well. They're well ahead. So uh, very happy with that. So that's a little look at the uh, the Grand Barn Community Gardens as of uh, June uh, 30th, 2021. Behind me here is Old Yella. So uh, putting, uh, it's been useful. We're, we've got still some cleanups to do around the place. Um, maybe in another video I'll show you how the, uh, with the orchard, I mean, everything's just, um, the, um, gooseberries, uh, are coming along, currants, uh, are, uh, uh matured, so that's good. Raspberry season's gonna be coming up too, um, and we've got black raspberries, and they grow really nicely, um, anywhere. They're like the dandelions of fruiting berries, and, um... I've been trying to keep them out of certain areas, they just keep coming back, so now I'm like, you know what? You know what? You make great berries. Birds don't seem to, you know, uh, they don't disappear as soon as they ripen. Uh, I've got other raspberries where, you know, as soon as they do, the birds are just on them. Um, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Grow, you're producing food. They have uh, very, they, they, their thorns, they hurt. But you know, other than that, um, why not? You know, if they pop up, a little, I don't know. Here we got some kiwi, uh, kiwi, kiwi berry vines. Uh, let's see if I can see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any berries. There was some flowers. I'll have to come back. I mean, they're only a few years, two years old at this point. So, um, but they did flower, and I have a little male over here. So, uh, and some morning glories as well, and wild strawberries. Okay, I think. Uh, I think that'll be it. So have a great day. Uh, stay cool. And hopefully you're getting rain. Have a good one.